Intensive Practice 7.1 Questions 1. A straight line passes through P to add and Q 73. Point R divides line segment PQ such that PR equal to 4 QR. Finds the coordinates of point R. So from the ratio given here, so I got to move the QR to the left hand side. So it will be PR over QR is equal to 4. And for the number 4, we can write this as 4 over 1. So the ratio of PR is equal to 4 and the ratio of QR is equal to 1. So let's say the point R is here on the straight lines PQ. So the ratio here is 4 and this one will be 1. To find the coordinates of the point R, it will be 4 times 7 plus 1 times 2 and divide by 4 plus 1 and 4 times 3 plus 1 times 8 divide by 4 plus 1. So this is equal to 30 over 5 and 20 over 5. So simplify this, the coordinate R will be 6, 4. Question number 2. If the point R 6, 3 divides the line segment from P, 4, 5 to Q, X, Y in the ratio 2 to 5, finds A, the coordinates of Q. So based on the ratio given, P, R, the ratio is 2, and from R to Q, the ratio will be 5. So now we're going to find the X coordinate for the point Q. So here we're going to refer to the X coordinate for each point. So when 2 times x, which is 2x plus 5 times 4, and divide by the total ratio 5 plus 2, this will give us the answer of the coordinate x of the point R, which is the number 6. So here 2x plus 20 over 7, this is equal to 6. Move the 7s to the right hand side, it will be 6 times 7, which is equal to 42. Then move the positive 20 to the right hand side, 42 minus 20. So 2x is equal to 22, therefore the x is equal to 11. And for the coordinate y of point Q, so when 2 times y, which is 2y, plus 5 times 5, and divide by the total ratio, this will give us the y coordinate of the point R, which is equal to 3. So here 2y plus 25 over 7, this is equal to 3. So 2y plus 25 is equal to 3 times 7, which is equal to 21. So 2y is equal to 21 minus 25. So 2y is equal to negative 4. So y is equal to negative 4 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 2. Therefore, the coordinate q is 11 negative 2. Questions B finds the coordinates of the midpoint of PQ. So here let's say we label the midpoint of PQ. This one is equal to point R. So point R will be at the middle of the line segment PQ with the ratio here is 1 to 1. So to find the coordinate, it will be 1 times 11 which is 11 plus 1 times 4, which is 4, then divide by 1 plus 1. And 1 times negative 2, which is negative 2, plus 1 times 5, which is equal to 5, divide by 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 15 over 2, and the other one will be 3 over 2. And we cannot simplify this. So this will be the coordinate of the midpoint. Number 3, point C, 1, 4, divides the straight line joining points A, negative 3, 6, and B, HK, in the ratio 2 to 3, finds the value of H and K. So based on the ratio, AC is equal to 2, and C to B is equal to 3. So to find the H, we're going to concentrate on the X coordinate for each point. So here, when 2 times H, which is 2H, plus 3 times negative 3, 
divide by the total ratio which is 2 plus 3 this will give us the x coordinates of the point c which is the number 1 so here 2h minus 9 divided by 5 this is equal to 1 so 2h minus 9 is equal to 1 plus 1 times 5 which is equal to 5 so 2h is equal to 5 plus 9 so h is equal to 14 divided by 2 so h is equal to 7 and to find the k we're going to concentrate on the y coordinates for each point so when 2 times k which is equal to 2k plus 3 times 6 divided by 2 plus 3 this will, this will give us the y coordinates of the point c which is the number 4 so here 2k plus 18 over 5 this is equal to 4 so 2k plus 18 this is equal to 4 times 5 which is equal to 20 so 2k equal to 20 minus 18 which is equal to 2 so k is equal to 2 divided by 2 then k is equal to 1 questions number 4 points a b and c are on a straight line b divide the straight line ac in the ratio 3 to 4 express e in terms of f so just let's say the line straight line ABC look like this. So here the point B is the divisor. So to get the X coordinates of the point B, which is E, it will be 3 times 3E plus 4 times 4R and divide by the total ratio. So E is equal to 9E plus 16R divided by 7. So next, move the 7 to the left hand side. So 7 times E is 7E. So this is equal to 9E plus 16R. So here I want to get a positive E. So I have to move the 7E to the right hand side. Whereas this 16R to the left hand side. So 9E minus 7E is equal to negative 16R. So 2E equal to negative 16R. So E is equal to negative 16R divided by 2 which is negative 8R. So this is E in terms of R. But here we want to find E in terms of F. So here to get the Y coordinate of the B which is the F. It will be 3 times 4F plus 4 times R over the total ratios. So F is equal to 12F plus 4R divided by 7. So move the 7 to the left hand side. So 7F equal to 12F plus 4R. As we want to express E in terms of F, so we need to substitute the R here with the terms F. Therefore, for the equations that I have here, I'm going to let the R here to become the subject. So I'm going to move the 12F to the left hand side. So 4R is equal to 7F minus 12F. So 4R is equal to negative 5F. And R will equal to negative 5F over 4. So next, I'm going to substitute the R here into the equations E equal to negative at R. So E is equal to negative 8 times negative 5F over 4. So here we can simplify the 4 and the 8 here. Therefore, E is equal to negative 2 times negative 5F, which is equal to positive 10f. Hence, we already express E in terms of F. Questions number 5. The diagram on the right shows a quadrilateral PQRS with vertices P, Q, R, and S. Point C is on the straight lines RS. Finds questions A. The coordinates of point U which divides the side PQ in the ratio 2 to 1. So based on the ratio, P to U will equal to 2 so probably u is going to be here 
So the ratio here is 2 and the ratio u to q will equal to 1. So to find the coordinate of point u, so it will be 2 times 7 plus 1 times 1 which is 1 then divide by the total ratio. And 2 times negative 8 plus 1 times 4 divided by 2 plus 1. So this is equal to 15 divided by 3 and negative 12 divided by 3. So simplify this, you will get 5 and negative 4. That will be the coordinate U. Questions B. Finds the coordinates of the midpoints of sites QR. So let's say we label the midpoint of QR here as point M. So point M will be at the middle of the line segment QR. With the ratio R to M is 1 and M to Q is also equal to 1. So the coordinate M will be 1 times 7 which is 7 plus 1 times 9 and divide by 1 plus 1. And 1 times negative 8, which is negative 8 plus 1 times 5, divided by 1 plus 1. So here we have 16 divided by 2 and negative 3 over 2. And for the 16 divided by 2, we can simplify it. It will be 8 and nothing we can do for the uh, negative 3 over 2. So this will be the coordinates of the midpoint of the sites QR. Question C. Finds the ratio RT to TS. So let's say we label the ratio RT to TS as M to N. So as the coordinates of these three points are given, so you can use either the X coordinates or the Y coordinates to solve for the ratios. So let's say here I choose the coordinate X. So here when M times 5 which is equal to 5M plus the n times 9, which is 9n, divide by the total ratio m plus n. This will give us the x coordinates of the point t, which is equal to 6. So here 5m plus 9n is equal to, when you move the m plus n to the right hand side, it will be 6 times m plus n, which is equal to 6m plus 6n. So here we're going to collect the m on the left hand side and the n on the right hand side so 5m minus 6m this is equal to 6n minus 9n so negative m is equal to negative 3n so here we're going to divide both sides with negative 1 therefore the negative signs will be cancelled so next move the n to the left hand side so m over n is equal to 3 so the number 3, we can also write it as 3 over 1. Therefore, the ratio m to n is equal to 3 to 1. Questions D. Finds the length of sites PS. So here the coordinate P and S are given. So we can find the distance or the length using this formula. So PS is equal to square root of 1 minus 5 square plus 4 minus 1 square. This is equal to square root 25. So the length of PS is equal to 5 units. Question number 6. Point P divides the straight line joining the points A and B in the ratio M to N finds A, the ratio M to N. So here the ratio AP is M and PB is N. So here as the coordinate Y for each point are given, so we're going to use that to find the ratio M to N. So when M times 5, which is equal to 5M plus N times 1, which is N, divide by the total ratio this will give us the y coordinate of the point P, which is the 2. Next, move the m plus n to the right hand side. So 5m plus n equal to 2 times 
m plus n which is 2m plus 2n so next I'm going to collect the m on the left hand side and n on the right hand side so 5m minus 2m is equal to 2n minus n so 3m is equal to n then collect the n on the left hand side and the number 3 to the right hand side m over n is equal to 1 over 3 so here the ratio m to n is equal to 1 to 3 questions b finds the value of k so k is the x coordinates of the divisor point p so here we're going to concentrate on the x coordinates to find the k so to find the value of k we can use 1 times 2 which is 2 plus 3 times negative 2 then divide by the total ratio which is 1 plus 3 so k is equal to negative 4 divided by 4 so k is equal to negative 1 questions number 7 the diagram below shows the positions of the multi-purpose hall, school market, and bus stop on a Cartesian plan. Hazik House is at the midpoint of P1, P2, such that P1 divides the line segment from the multi-purpose hall to the market in the ratio 4 to 1, while P2 divides the line segment from the school to the bus stop in the ratio 1 to 2. Determine the positions of Hazik House. So first, we need to find what is the coordinates for the P1 and P2. So based on the information here, the total ratios from the multi-purpose hall to the market is 5. Which means the distance from the multi-purpose hall to the market is divided into 5 equal parts. And from the multi-purpose hall to the P1, it is 4 equal parts. And from the P1 to the market is equal to 1 part. So based on the diagram here, so it's, it's very convenient because I can divide the line segment here into five equal parts so here will be one part two three four and this one will be the five so here will be the positions of the p1 so based on the other informations here the total ratio is equal to three so this means the line segment from the school to the bus stop it is divided into three equal parts and from school to the p2 it is one part and from the p2 to the bus stop it will be equal to two parts so here i can also divide here into three equal parts one two three then here will be the positions of the p2 so the coordinates for the P1 is 11, 3. And the coordinate for P2 will be 6, 5. So Hazik House is in the middle of P1 and P2. So here we need to determine the position of the Hazik House using calculations as we cannot determine the coordinate exactly through the diagram. So the ratio involved here will be 1 to 1 as the Hazik house is in the middle, which is the midpoint. So the coordinates will be 1 times 11, which is 11 plus 1 times 6 and divide by the total ratio 1 plus 1. And 1 times 3, which is 3 plus 1 times 5, then divide by 1 plus 1. So this is equal to 17 over 2 and 8 over 2. So for the 8 over 2, we can simplify it. It will be equal to 4. So the positions of the Hazik house is located at the coordinates 17 over 2 and 4.